sort of a tricky question. I wonder if you can explain like the magical science? What it kind of means is that uh, because of some bizarre accident, mm -hmm. right, that Adeline goes through, she kind of, she kind of die in a car crash? Yeah. But then there's a Lightning she she crashes into water. freezing water, and so the idea is that her body, um, when when she crashes into the car, it's not the car, but it's the freezing cold water. And then when the lightning hits the water, it defibrillates her heart. So it's something that, um, it's not just like, oh, one day a prince kissed her, and now she can live forever. Um, but they, they, they sort of, um, they tell it in an interesting way, like, yeah. because of a technology that won't be discovered until blah, blah, blah. Um, I mean, but it's, that's it's, what I loved about it, is that they, it was scientific, you know? It feels very scientific. I wouldn't be surprised if people were like, let's Google that. Let's yeah. see if that's actually possible. This is actually like the next Star Trek. It's like a part of the franchise. Oh, yes. Like, oh. I can see that. Yeah, it's is a sci-fi movie, movie. Is it necessarily Adeline? It could be like some other person that suffers from it. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's yeah. You yes. that, did you have to do anything in the water? What's yeah, called? I did. Oh, I had to. Um, I had to be in the car and um, upside crawl down up the hill in and, the water. But most of my like really aggressive, impressive things didn't make it. But I think because they were only aggressive and impressive to me. But yeah. I, you probably saw on film. Like, like this what? is really like, <laughs> crawling up the hill like broken and battered like zombie style and um, you know. Falling off of the car after I crawl out and I'm like, I don't know. I thought this was like just something. a super romantic movie. It was, but it sounds we're going for the sci-fi angle. <laughs> yeah. We're hitting that audience in this interview, and She's then the on next point. one we're gonna go for. Uh... Okay, the romance. She's hitting that's super on point for Spring Man. I appreciate it. Um, toggling into that, I have to ask a Thrones question for you. Miss Amelia Clark said that Danny's gonna be discovering her feminine wiles. I'm wondering if Dario is the catalyst for that. For sure. Yeah. I mean. Um, um, Somehow I get to play all these characters that um, <laughs> that <laughs> turn out to be the catalyst for something, yeah. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, that's definitely the case on um, Game of Thrones this season. Yeah. Tomorrow's the premiere is very exciting. Wow! <laughs> but yeah, we're here. To I talk know. About Adeline. I know. I know. We can talk about Game of Thrones. Yeah, let's talk about Game of Thrones. <laughs> no. Uh, what was the first Harrison Ford experience for you both like? I think he's so lovely in this. Yeah, he's does. really great in this yeah. movie. Um, I met him at dinner before we started, and he's Harrison Ford, and he's an amazing actor, and, and, and he's a lovely man, and a lovely husband and father, and all of these things. And so, you know, I, I got to just meet him as, as, as a person, and as someone I respected as an actor. Yeah. Mind you, side note, I've never seen uh, any Indiana Jones movies or Star Wars movies. My husband made me watch the trilogy of Indiana Jones the night before shooting. And then I just like was like fanboy, Comic-Con, <laughs> geeked out. Like it was amazing I didn't show up to set with a whip and a hat and, you know, khakis. Don't do that the day before you shoot No, someone. it was such a bad, I mean, I could not speak to him. I so lost my cool. It's all I wanted to talk about. And I remember like, I just finally like confessed at the end of the day because I thought I can. And I did that awful thing and it was just so uncomfortable. And I remember the, the, the crew members were like, what just happened over there? I saw you turn bright red and your elbows were flying and then Harrison went from smiling to looking really disturbed and then I saw you doing impressions but you sounded like Cher but I think you were trying to do Sean Connery and it was just like, it was just a really bad, bad moment in my life. But it wasn't that bad. But, but, <laughs> but um, the cool thing is I think when you, when, whenever you, you get to work with amazing people like yeah. on our movie, um, Blake and Ellen and Burston and Harrison Ford and Kathy Baker, Amanda Crew. Um, you know, it's like the the first minute or two, it's kind of like, oh my God, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm working with you or working with Harrison, you know, people yeah. that you've admired for so long. And then within five minutes, you're realizing, oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. We're all trying to do the same thing. We're, yeah. we're trying to, we all have a passion for um, telling good stories. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try to make this story the best possible, you know?